Today we're cooking with Thunder Bay. Well, a meatloaf is your basic all-American dish, but the recipe we're sharing with you today is anything but ordinary. That is so true. You can mm -hmm. say it's meatloaf on steroids. <laughs> Mike Stigler is the head chef at Thunder Bay. It smells so fantastic. Oh. I love meatloaf. I think meatloaf kind of gets a bad rap sometimes. I think it's fantastic, especially this meatloaf. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's Mother's Day week, right? And most of us had mothers that at one point in time or other made meatloaf for us, right? I know mine did. For um, sure. So that's why I thought I'd share our little recipe for meatloaf that we and do And it has bison in it. That's mm -hmm. the kick. Yeah, we have not only bison, but we actually smoke the whole meatloaf. Ooh, okay. So, um, People so, are going to notice there's no ketchup sitting out here, Mike. No, no. And actually, Dave, the cameraman, asked me, so where's, where's, yeah. the where's the ketchup? Where's the ketchup? We need ketchup. But, you know, we're going to make this a little bit different than okay. what you would normally make it at home. So what we start off with is we have equal parts of bison and ground beef mm -hmm. mixed together. We put barbecue sauce right in the recipe with it, mm. a little bit of oatmeal instead of breadcrumbs. Uh, we put okay. eggs in there. We put onions, peppers. We mix all that up together. And then what we do is we roll it out into parchment paper and we smoke it in the oven. Um, huh. with over so can anybody chips. do that? Yeah, you could do that at home if you just wanted to put it in loaf pans, you know, the traditional mm -hmm. style. If you have a smoker, you could do it in the smoker outside. But you just want to bring the internal temperature up to like right around 160 degrees so it's fully cooked. Pull it out, and then you're good to go. And I just want to say Mike was kind enough to share this recipe with mm -hmm. all of our viewers. So if you go to themorningblend.com and click on today's Thunder Bay segment, you can have access to this fantastic recipe. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I wanted to be able to share that. Um, Way to go, Mike. So this is what it looks like. Sounds Voila. healthy. When it comes out of yeah. the smoker, the giant meatloaf, um, smoked bison meatloaf. Now, what we generally do with this, you can see it's kind of basted with a little bit of barbecue sauce on the top, and then mm -hmm. we put it back in the oven kind of to give it a little bit of nice color. So what we do is we cook it and we cool it, which is like this particular one is here, and then we cut it into slices, and we're going to do a little bit different than what you might normally do at home. Um, you can kind of see when you look how the texture is on the inside there. Mm -hmm. um, there's just peppers and onions and all sorts of good stuff in there. Um, really nice and delicious. But what we're going to do to make this a little bit even extra special is we're going to cut it into two slices, about like so, and then we're going to put it over into our saute pan and kind of saute it a little bit and give a little bit of color on the oh, outside of it. Oh, okay. So we're going to bring that over here, drop this into our saute pan, and you can see that I've already got some going over here a little bit, and you can see that it's starting to develop a nice little Yum. bit of color on the top side That's here. Fantastic. These are the ones that I just put in, and then after probably about about five minutes or so in the pan just over a nice low heat um, it starts to kind of caramelize and you get sort of that little charred bits on there and you get that on both sides of the meatloaf and then you have the dark side on the top where the barbecue sauce was on there and it really helps to kind of caramelize everything up really nicely mm -mm, mm -mm, so mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm going to show you how we put this whole thing together here it's a lot of steps so bear with me all right so we start off with our Yukon gold mashed potatoes mm -hmm. so these are the yellow kind of mashed potatoes um, you probably find these in your produce section um, so these are whipped up fresh with a little bit of butter and a little bit of heavy cream and just uh, salt and white pepper just to kind of mm. avoid you know getting the black specks in there. Mm -hmm. Personally, I like black pepper myself. I'm not a, I don't, not afraid of black specks in my potatoes, but for the sake of the visual appearance, we stick with the white pepper All in the right, restaurant. Fair. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then we are going to build this up with our meatloaf. And we're gonna try to get a little bit of, once again, a little bit of visual action going on here. So we're gonna make sort of a little bit of a stack out of it. Because when people are eating meat, meatloaf, it's comfort food. I mean, you want it to be kind of homey. You want everything to be mixed together. <laughs> that looks you know, so there's good. no sense being <laughs> shy fantastic. about it. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and add our sauteed mushrooms. And these are just your regular button mushrooms, which we saute with a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic, um, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. Kind of give it some extra flavor there. We're gonna pile those on top. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and we got some sauteed onions going on. So these are just your traditional white onions. If you wanted to use like the, uh, the Maui Waui, you know, the extra sweet ones, or you could even use red onions if you want. We're going to pile that up on top of there. And then instead of the traditional gravy, we have a garlic cream sauce that we're going to put on there. And this is not only is it garlic cream sauce, it's a drunken garlic cream sauce. Right. It's got right. Sam Adams um, ale cooked in there with it, along oh. with roasted garlic. So we're going to put that right. You're outdoing right yourself today. Yeah, over you're, the top. you're going so full it's, tilt, It's Mike. Mother's Day week. This is yep. comfort food. This is what we're doing. We're not getting, you know, all fancy and, you know, putting all sorts of fancy stuff on here. This is the stuff people really like to eat. So we're going to go ahead and finish that with a little bit of that garlic cream sauce. And then just to give it a little bit of color. Color. We're going to put a little bit of parsley around there, and there you have. What was this? I don't know if you bison said bison meatloaf. This is um, just beef stock, which I kind of use when I'm sautéing up oh, mushrooms okay. and onions, just in case they start to stick to the pan. You just put a little bit in there to kind of oh. help loosen it up. You know, that way you don't have to worry about your garlic or anything burning. It probably so, adds a little something to it. Yeah, okay, it adds so a little bit of flavor too. Mike, this one's mine. Where's yeah. Tiffany's <laughs> plate? <laughs> I know that's a single portion right there. Believe it or not, mine's that big loaf right next right. to you. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna take you a bite are here. Already out of reservations though for Mother's Day, which is why 
you felt so guilty into sharing this recipe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we, you know, we might be able to sneak a couple people in on the front end or the back end. We're open okay. from 9 until 3 um, for, for brunch. So there still might be some room. You can maybe mm. give the restaurant a call and see if you can sneak in. We're also open for dinner at night um, from 4 o'clock until, oh until 9 o'clock. We have a couple of really good features going on. We have Alaskan sockeye salmon and uh, Parmesan crusted prime rib, both on the dinner feature menu for Mother's Day evening. So, you know, we encourage you to come out, you know, um, anytime. We have Sunday brunch going on all the time, not just on the big days on Mother's Day, on Easter, of course, but we have it going on every Sunday. Um, so come on out and give us a try. Do you know who went on out and gave you a try recently? I Sure do, yeah, yeah. A Who? couple of uh, VIPs. Uh, <laughs> My parents were there. Mr. Um, and Mrs. Molly. Yeah, yeah, they were visiting um, Austin, Milwaukee, and on their way back to Lake Mills, <laughs> they stopped at Thunder Bay and I think had lunch, not yeah, dinner, yeah, lunch. They, did. they absolutely loved it. Of course, Aww. they called Mike out of the kitchen. Did they? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he did you think up Molly's some... turning into her mother? I, I think she would be very fortunate if she turned into your mother. Aww. Your mother was, was very nice. Your parents That's are both. Sweet. How cute is that? Your, your parents are both very nice to me, and I, I really appreciate it. They're very nice people. Uh, Oh, that's and hopefully awesome. they had an enjoyable lunch. I they think were they so impressed, Mike, and yeah. everybody is who visits Thunder Bay. It's yeah. an incredible restaurant, and I know Mike's like the the celebrity there. He'll, oh, yeah. he'll <laughs> very often come out and visit with you if you Autograph ask for your him. napkin. Yeah, yeah sure, exactly. Sure. Not the used one. <laughs> right. So here's how you can taste this unbelievable meatloaf. Oh, my it goodness. is the smoked bison meatloaf. It is on our website, themorningblend.com. The recipe's there, but I recommend that you go and visit Thunder Bay and have it yourself because it is incredible comfort food. I know that. My Mom will love it. They're in Pewaukee. The phone number 262-523-4244. ThunderBayGrill.com. Keep your hands off it, Tiff. Yeah, you don't even need a knife. This is so, so moist. There you go. Love Thank it. Thank you so much, Thank Mike. You. Appreciate it. Happy Mother's Day to your mom and your wife. Thank you very much. I'll pass that on. Absolutely. Thanks, Thank you.